First step for today, get your kids vaccinated. That's the recommendation from local doctors as COVID-19 cases are on the rise among children. Dozens have been hospitalized this month and at least two children are now in the ICU. As we get closer to New Year's, we're seeing dozens of cars lining up at COVID testing sites, including here at U of L's location in downtown Louisville. And not just adults are getting sick. For the month of December so far, we've had 38 kids hospitalized. Um, and this morning, we have 12 kids with COVID-19 in the hospital. Two of them are in the ICU and the youngest is just two months of age. The two month old is not in the ICU, but just the youngest child in the hospital. Dr. Christina uh, is Bryant is a pediatrician with the Norton Children's Infectious Diseases Department. We really see uh, hospitalizations across the spectrum of ages. I will say that most of our severe cases, though, have um, tended to be in teenagers. Dr. Bryant says so far this month, Norton tested 12,000 kids for COVID and 1,643 have tested positive. That's a big jump from November when 980 kids tested positive. And when you're looking at the numbers of kids with COVID, how many are vaccinated? It is rare for us to see a vaccinated child get admitted to the hospital. Um, there, there have been breakthrough cases in kids who've had vaccine, just like in adults, but they don't tend to get admitted to the hospital. And so that's good news. Uh, vaccine protects against uh, severe infection. Our problem, especially our problem here in Kentucky, is just that we have too few kids vaccinated, um, particularly in the five to 11 year old age group. Expect to see long testing lines like this for a while, as doctors say the rise in COVID cases can be attributed to families gathering for the holidays and the Omicron variant being twice as contagious as the Delta variant. Are you recommending that everyone be tested before they return to school, return to work next week? Asking everyone to be tested, uh, while it's, it's not a bad idea, um, it's probably not practical because I think that we've already heard about shortages of home tests. I think uh, for people who are feeling well, who say, I just want to get tested, there's probably not enough uh, testing capacity, given that we've got increased numbers of sick people. We'll have more of our interview with Dr. Bryan and tips for parents on the News at 5.